I didn't allow myself to debate whether I should go to the gym or not go to the gym this morning. So I just woke up. It's not motivation. You got to have a vision, a compelling future, and an ego to wake up early and to get the job done. So to all of you out there, I'm wishing you great success and encouragement, determination, dedication, and desire. What's up, everybody? You know what's going on. It's time to get going. I want to say thank you to Mark D. What's up, man? Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for the message that you gave and you took the time to write. And, the, and Goddess of the Cosmos, what a beautiful name. Awesome to meet you here on my YouTube channel. And you too, you keep going, you stay strong, you get wiser, and you get richer. That's the goal. And Aaron Michaels, you've been with me. You've been with me for a long time here on my YouTube channel. So I want to say thank you so much for the continued support and appreciation. There's the neighbor's pool right there. Our little private driveway. Oh, the door's already open for me. How nice. Oh, snap. Now the only thing is, I left the trash in the back of the, oh my gosh. Where's my key? I just want to say as a man, this is why you got to get in the gym. You got to get around strong people like this guy. You got to get around strong guys like this. Raise your testosterone. Yeah, it's on YouTube, guys. Yeah. Team Germany. Yes, sir. There's so many fine chicks up in there. Damn, that's some motivation right there. You know what I'm saying? As a man, you got to look good. As a man, you got to be strong. As a man, you got to have a lot of money and be super wise. If you want to get a dime piece and it's not all about the beauty, right? It's not at all about the physical because you could have someone super hot, sexy, beautiful on the outside, but then on the inside, a total dud. So how can you have a conversation with a total dud? So beauty is nice. Brains are even better and a spirit to show that beautiful side of yourself. You know what I'm saying? So now the question is, what do I do? Do I go to the French bakery, pick up a loaf of bread, get something kind of, get a sweet pastry? I think so. Waiting on my paycheck so I can buy this gigantic freaking whiteboard, like six feet tall, so I can make better videos to help online teachers and English language learners. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn this whole channel around for the better, to be more professional. You know what I'm saying? Hey, another girl out there just checking me out. I'm telling you, you know what? When you ride around in a nice looking vehicle, women look at you differently. Imagine if I had a Benz right now or a Ferrari. Oh yeah, Ferrari going through this. But a Porsche Carrera SUV, that's something to go for in Thailand. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you got to have big goals and be ambitious with your life. I should have done, I should have done a video when I went inside. It's called Koh Samui Health Food Shop for 130 baht. It's like $4. I got a Shizu, Shizu Plum Kombucha. Not even sure how you say that, but it's a kombucha, okay? And then I got this right here so I don't have to go to the bakery every day. And I just want to say vacations are not in my reality at all. In fact, truth be told, vacations are for people who don't have control of their life and who don't have freedom to work when they want to. But it's your choice. You feel like you gotta work a nine to five to have a 
stable, safe and secure future for retirement, by all means go right ahead. But you know what? It's not guaranteed. Your pension is not guaranteed. Social security check is not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed in this world. The only thing that's guaranteed is that if you put forth your effort, if you're willing to listen to the right people at the right time and take action rather than procrastinating and waiting on the perfect freaking moment. Nothing's going to change until you make that decision yourself. Okay, thanks, man. We're coming through in the jungle roads out here. This is the back roads of Thailand and Koh Samui. They got some food right here. And then this lady right here, she's cooking up some good stuff in the morning time. I smelled it too. She got the, got the garlic sauteing. Look at that view. Look at that view. Come on, everybody. This is amazing. That's the durian spot right there. That's where they load all the durian up. So cool that I got to see that. Hundreds and hundreds of durians, if not thousands. Oh, chick, 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 chick. Get out of the road. Why the chicken cross the road? To see what's going on. <laughs> Curiosity, you know what I'm saying? What a gorgeous view. Land. Look at that, look at those coconut palm leaves. The sun's shining on it, making it like silver on the leaves. It's so gorgeous. I love this stuff. I love life. I love nature. I love doing what I came here to do, living my purpose every day. Yeah. It's about to freaking rain again, yo, check this out. <laughs> I gotta find a banana leaf so I can cook these pancakes. That's what I'm gonna have to do. I don't have like a pot or anything that I can put the pancake mix in, like the batter to cook. And I gotta be careful walking out here, dude. There's freaking snakes and all kinds of stuff. But I need a banana leaf. There's a banana leaf over there. Let's go see if we can find this, okay? Whoa, shit. You gotta be really careful out here, yo. I got shoes though, that's good. All right, all right, all right, look. Banana leaf, we're coming close, we're getting close. I'm watching where I'm walking here, I'm like. All right, now I think this banana leaf. All right, Mr. Banana Leaf, I'm so sorry. I know you can grow back. I need you. There we go. I'm gonna put my pancake batter right on this and that's all I need. So we got some ingredients. We got grass-fed milk, organic eggs, free range, and then some butter. What's up guys? I know you can't see my head is kind of cut off, but check it out. We're gonna do, show you what we got. That's one egg. Okay, get all that out. Yep, done. Next one. Bam. I think I'm gonna go three eggs for these pancakes. Might be too eggy, a little too firm, but whatever. I need the protein. That's 18 grams, almost 20 grams of protein right there. Do something with the eggshells. Maybe toss them in the garden. Some good compost. Be right back. I'm back. So we're gonna put a little bit of milk in here. Just a little bit. Don't need much because there's so much egg white inside. That's it. Just a couple of drops, really. Now here's the main thing. I don't even. I'm not gonna even measure nothing. I'm just gonna dump this bitch in here because I don't need that much flour. Right there. Okay, that should be plenty. Okay, and I'm gonna use a knife to mix it up. 
Why? Because last night I passed out on the sofa and I didn't have time. Excuse me, I'm making excuses. I passed out on the sofa and I didn't wash the dishes last night, okay? There you go. So check it out. You guys know how that is, right? Just mixing it up, mix the flour, mix the eggs. Damn, man, I'm beating these eggs up real good with the flour. Come on, plastic spoon. All right, here goes nothing. A little bit right there. Oh man, it's dripping. There you guys go. Welcome to my breakfast pancake. <laughs> Let's see what's going on under here. I got one hand on the iPad, so it's not easy, guys. But you see, it's no steak right there. It's brown. Let's see what's going on. There you go, guys. It's a success. It looks ugly, but it's a success. A success. Got that beautiful color, though, right? It looks like a roti. <laughs> it looks like a roti. Voila, guys, check it out. Pancake, this is banana leaf pancake, you know what I'm saying? Save the other piece of the banana for the last cake right there. Oh, baby. Here's the last one right here. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. You're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. No, 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 no. Now, oh, oh, you, dry, you gotta drop the iPad, it's, it's dripping. See those birds? Okay guys, so here's the taste test. No butter right now at all, no butter. Mmm. Tastes like an omelet pancake, you know what I'm saying? No salt, nothing at all. Just the flour, the eggs, and the fire. Mmm. It's pretty good. Now if I put butter and a little bit of salt in there, perfect. So let's do that. Right there. Mmm. And sorry guys, I know I always look over here, but I really need to look at the camera when I'm talking to y'all, so hopefully I can remember remember for the rest of my recordings. Oh drop the butter. Shit. Mmm. Mmm. Just hit the spot right now. So perfect. Mmm. See the butter dripping? Yeah. Ooh. Damn, I lost my kombucha. <sighs> Spilled all out. $4 down the drain. And I think, you know, when you do something stupid like that in life, it's just to remind you that money comes and goes. And who gives a f about $4? You know what I'm saying? That's the idea. If you're going to be stressed out about losing $1,000, $5, you got to get over that because you got to put yourself in a mindset where I can make $1,000 a day. Losing $4 is nothing, but that's a mindset that you got to adapt to. At least I'm trying to because if I sit around and think about the money that I lost, like that 360 from Stripe, going to lose time on things that I could have done. Being active and proactive on my mission. Got to get that ribeye steak ready for later. Cook it super slow. Always got to be thinking what's going to happen next. Always got to be preparing and planning for what's coming next. So you don't get in your situation. Don't get yourself in a situation where you're like, oh, I don't have enough time to do this. I don't have enough time to do that. Plan in advance. There you go, guys. I just took it right off the grill. Now we gotta cut it open to make sure it's nice and perfect for me. I like it about medium, medium well. Okay, guys, so look at that. Let's just put that back on there.
for three dollars. Mmm. Homemade yogurt cheese pie. Wow. Mmm. 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 Still not too sweet. That sauce isn't. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's really good. So I'll get this. And I won't need to think about food for a couple hours. Mmm. Mmm. And there's that milk I was talking about in my previous video. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. One thing I love about once again, the coolest thing about doing your own online business is you can go to sleep when you want. You know, I just went to sleep from like 11, 11 p.m. And then I woke up at like 2.30 a.m. And I could be lazy and just go to sleep right now and just say, hey, look, it's late. You know, just go to sleep. Wake up the next morning. It's a new day. Blah, blah, blah. But actually, who knows? Right now, I'm feeling it. Maybe I have an opportunity to do something that's going to get me further ahead. But if I just go to sleep right now, I'll never know what's going to find out. I'll never know what can happen. I'll, f I'll never find out what can, what can happen. Excuse me, I just woke up and did some university this time. Excuse me, guys. But I'm about to knock out some work right now until I pass out again. And you got to have this spirit of relent relentlessness. Really, you must have a spirit of relentlessness. That's the key.